everyone, I'm Red Green, and Sioux Center Christian School has hired me to help with their new building project. Now, they want to save some money on this project, so they asked me to come in and help them with my specialty, which is uh, duct tape. Duct tape can work for just about anything. So, the, the students here have volunteered to help with certain projects so that we can save money. Tyler, what have you got here? Well, I've got this chair. Um... This leg was broken, so I fixed it up with duct tape. Mm. It's very, very sturdy. Oh. Very, very sturdy! Hmm, well, Tyler, I guess uh, if the women don't find you handsome, they can at least find you handy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next uh, item here. What, what do you have here? I've created a container to hold my three small Bibles, and it used to be a broken shoebox, but now it's a Bible holder, and it works great. Hmm, remember, duct tape is only a temporary solution, unless it works. <laughs> <laughs> my invention is an intercom, so Cher can talk to Mr. DeVries, and not walking over there. Hmm, that's a pretty ingenious idea you got there. And then it would save her 10 minutes a day and 30 hours a school year. Wow, that saves a lot of time. Let's see that thing in action. All right, I'll just ask Cheryl to send a message to Mr. DeVries. It looks like he's getting a little tired. Maybe Cheryl could ask him if he is ready for his can of Mountain Dew. Mr. DeVries? Mr. DeVries? Are you there? Yes, yes. Uh, so, Peter, uh, what do you have here? I've been thinking that my little brother would have a lot more fun on his tractor with a little jet propulsion. Now, I see you attached a leaf blower here with some duct tape. But have you tried it out yet? I've been thinking about testing it out right now. Hmm. Now, Peter, I'm not quite sure that's such a good idea. think about the part about kingdom work and obeying God in everything we do. What do you think that means? Well, when I grow up, I want to be a missionary and tell people about God. You certainly could. Missionary work is an important part in building God's kingdom. How about you? When I grow up, I could go on service trips and tell people about God. Well, maybe I could become a teacher and teach kids about God. That's an important gift, being able to tell people about God and share Christ with other people. But that's not the only tool that we can use. We need a lot of other tools, like when we're building a playhouse, we use a lot of tools, right guys? There's a lot of tools to build a playhouse. A lot of our gifts and tools to build this kingdom as well. Yeah, Mr. Krull is right. Telling people about God is an important tool, and in some situations it's the best tool. But it's not the best tool in every situation. Let's just say you're walking down the street, and you see a little girl beside her bike. You notice that she's crying, and the bike's chain is coming off its gears. Now what if you got down and told that little girl all about God, and then just got up and walked away? Well, 
That would be about as helpful as handing her a roll of duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> All around us there are people with the knowledge of God, but maybe knowledge of God isn't enough. For example, what uh, Mr. Banster said about the girl with the losing the chain off her bike, what does she really need? He could fix the chain off the bike, or you could also give her a hug. And maybe a band-aid for her knee, right? So those are gifts. Uh, people build houses, like for Habitat for Humanity. They do a lot of hands-on stuff. But there are other people that have a gift of helping people with counseling, uh, like Miss Smith can listen to people and give counseling. So they, there's listeners, there's counselors. There's also so many gifts that God has given us that we can use in His kingdom. What kind of gifts do you guys have that you could share? Well, I'm good at making food. Maybe one day I can become a chef or a cook. Great idea. I like cars. I think it would be fun to help people find the right car for the places they need to go. I love to decorate. Maybe someday I can help people make their homes beautiful. I like playing sports. I could probably help athletes come together as a team and play their best. But we still need to tell people about God, right? Yes, we do, because we never get enough of the things we need. I like, um, when you're hungry for a lunch, you have an appetite. I think I know what you mean. As soon as I'm done finishing my lunch, I'm already thinking about supper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who like cars always want another one, a newer or faster one. Once we bought a new chair for our living room and all the other furniture looked old. We wondered if we should buy more new things to go with it. And a lot of athletes think that they will only be happy if they can win that next trophy. Almost as soon as people get their hands on the things they want, the joy just slips through their fingers. Without the love of God in their lives, people can still feel hungry and empty. Even though their tummies are full of food, their garages are full of toys, and their display cases are full of trophies. So, Christians who use their gifts help people with the things that they need. But they also look for ways to tell people about God, who's the answer to their biggest needs. I think you guys have got it. Well, I need to get this board fastened. Mr. Cole, do you think we should use a hammer or a screw gun? You know, on second thought, I think duct tape would do it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, come on. Yeah. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered in shame. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people. For those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may go weak and hungry, but those who fear him lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the, to the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days. Oh, he felt good idea. Okay. Now I did that. Uh. Do. And we have to do that because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to do that because I forgot. <laughs> and sports people. Oh man, sports people? I like cars! Oh man. Okay. Oh, that was. <laughs> yeah, that was. And they're. Gra they're... <laughs> <laughs> and they're. Gra they're. <laughs> for ways to. <laughs> what is that? That's one.
Looks like 